Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cookie Run Tower of Adventures with me, as Roy Galcon. And in this episode, I'm going to show you my experience fighting the Seleus, which is the newest boss in this game mode, the Champions Raid. If you like this kind of content, then be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell so you will not miss out on anything that I put on this channel. Everything is free. You don't need to pay, and by subscribing you make this channel grow and flourish even more. Which makes me happy so I can create more contents for you to watch. <laughs> Finally, my prediction was actually true. Celius will be the second boss ever in this particular game mode. And in this season, with some massive changes that happens in this particular update, I'm going to show you my experience fighting against this particular boss in the recommended element which is fire and electric. At first, my plan was to combine both of these experience fight and get this boss fight in Champions League into one gigantic video. But then I took a look at the length of the video and decided that it was way too long. So for now, you got the fire experience. Unfortunately, the fire experience isn't exactly as great as I hope because in this particular champion's raid, everyone is basically using jalapeno cookie. <laughs> well, there is one player who uses chili pepper cookie, but the two most important cookie in the fire type, which is currently uh, crushed pepper cookie as well as mala sauce cookie, we don't have those two. <laughs> Can you imagine my reaction into this? <laughs> when I saw the teammates list for this particular fight. <laughs> some of you will probably take a look at this particular video at some point in the future and conclude that this was an absolutely awful run. Well, it is. It is an absolutely awful run. But then again, we only have 5 cookies at this point in time. Those 5 cookies are Jalapeno cookie, crushed pepper cookie, chili pepper cookie, mala sauce cookie, and last but not least, cherry cookie. That's it. Those, those are 5 cookies that represent the 5 elements at this point in time in Cookie Run Tower of Adventures. I mean, for crying out loud, we don't have any fire type buffer at this point in time, or even a fire type cookie which debuff the opponent. After scouring through all the games that have is the main, Oven Break, which is Castle and Kingdom, I have no idea which cookie will have this kind of role. So comment down below which cookie from either Oven Break or which is Castle or Kingdom does deserve for this particular role. Or there might be at some point in the future where Tetrister will create such a cookie, I don't know. I don't even think that either Peach or Plum cookie, which are the two cookies that are currently being rumored to be added into the game. Considering the fact both of those two are involving martial arts, I will say those two are either Earth type or Wind type, I guess. So, what do you think? What type of element does Peach cookie and Plum cookie fit right into this particular game and also what kind of role those two will have let me know in the comment section down below right now let's go back to the actual champions raid in mind what do i think about the Celius boss fight in champions raid game mode well this is definitely much more difficult compared to the capcross kyucho which is the previous boss in this particular game mode if you are interested in my experience fighting against Capcross Kyoto, then you can click the link at the end of this particular video. But yeah, I do hope that someday in the near future, the sister will introduce a fire element type cookie that works as a buffer or debuffer for the opponent. So yeah, let's move on into the next and final part for this video which is I'm going to use Crash Pepper Cookie and hopefully get a better result compared to whatever this privacy is. 
if you do have suggestion for me to make the run better, especially in the fire type element champions raid against this boss fight, let me know also in the comment section down below. So here comes the second and final fight for this video. I'm switching out the jalapeno cookie into crushed pepper cookie and I almost said habanero cookie because those two cookies are based on chilies. <laughs> and I do oftentimes accidentally say the other cookie instead of the correct cookie. So in this matchup, I was expecting I would get at least one mala sauce cookie user but I ended up with two mala sauce cookie users <laughs> which is a good and bad news at the same time because for a tiger cookie you only need one user and also I just realized right now that we have two crushed pepper cookie users in this particular fight this is also the point where I noticed that we are missing a player that uses chili pepper cookie which is kind of important because you know chili pepper cookie is the DPS for fire type element cookie <laughs> if you ask me do I have chili pepper cookie on my roster well I do have chili pepper cookie in my roster it's just I don't have the resources to build her up at the moment because I tried to get more resources for Korami cookie which I felt so bad <laughs> at the second phase of the Celius fight in this game mode I find myself take damage the most in here because this animation of Celius punching the air and generates the damage I find myself didn't have enough time to avoid it Thankfully, the damage isn't so bad if you have Crush Pepper on your party because Crush Pepper Ultimate can provide some protection against the damage, which is so much blessings for Jalapeno Cookie users because they don't have a lot of health to take the damage. Anyway, I do want to mention the scheduling for the next couple of videos. So the next couple of videos are my experience fighting against this particular boss fight in Champions Raid. In fact, I've actually prepared two videos for this particular boss fight alone. The first one is my experience fighting against this boss fight, but I'm using the electric type cookies. And the last one is a perfect reason why you should have a reliable teammate in real life in order to support you for this particular game mode. Oh yes, one final thing that I just realized when I record this video. You realize that during the phase 2 and phase 3 of this particular boss fight, you will enter into the room and fight against Lehman in the dark boat already. After those two videos, I'm going to show you my experience fighting against Magmog for the first time in the normal difficulty, as well as my great mode boss fight against that particular boss as well as fighting against banana kong in the hard difficulty anyway that is it for the narration part for this video at least for now so let's enjoy the rest of this gameplay video and i'll see you right at the point where this fight is almost over So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Alswey Galcon signing it off. 
and I'll see you in the next video where hopefully I will get a better result in this particular champion straight fight with the electric pipe cookies. I mean, just take a look at the score for this particular boss fight. I barely passed the previous result with jalapeno cookie. Oh yes, don't forget to run this game mode daily because you can get awesome rewards for purchasing the items in the shop by using the champion's medal currency right there.